It is time for a Tropics Tuesday. As we think about what's happening in the Caribbean right now, we've got series of tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa. This is the typical spot, the breeding ground right now, the intertropical convergence zone, the ICTZ. And uh, time of year, we, we start to see these things. And uh, the National Hurricane Center really zoning in on uh, this area of thunderstorms disorganized right now moving into the Caribbean and they think over the next seven to ten days it could develop into something but a 20 percent chance so that's why the yellow and low formation chance right now moving away from the uh, peninsula of Florida so that's encouraging uh, news there and, and a couple of uh, computer models that we've been looking at uh, showing that that we can uh, look at precipitable water and you zero in on where you're seeing all the, the red and the darker green that's all the water that would be in the atmosphere associated with that area of low pressure. It's confirming a move towards the Yucatan Peninsula in the Bay of Campeche in Mexico. And again, staying well south of us, this would be a wind forecast. And that would, uh, and, and still, even as it does make its way through the seven day period and we get into the weekend, it's uh, forecasting now those 25 to 35 mile hour winds. So it would stay on the weaker side of things. We'll watch, of course. And one of the friends here, as we talk tropics and Tropic Tuesday, the Saharan dust forecast. Now, certainly, Saharan dust alone isn't going to impede massive development of things, but it is an ingredient that helps uh, substance that would be sinking air to get a good tropical system going. You got to have rising air. The storms have to ventilate themselves as uh, they uh, begin their their twist and turn in this really, really warm bath water in this part of the uh, development zone right now. So the, uh, the, the, the continued Saharan dust forecast off the coast of Africa, we're actually taking it down towards the intertropical convergence zone, that hotbed of development where the waves are right now. And in fact, as we get towards Saturday, Sunday, we may actually, at least parts of Florida, start seeing some of those Saharan dusty sunrises there. We will continue, of course, as always, to track the tropics. We're always on your side with the most accurate forecast. In the meantime, I'm Lewis Turner, First Coast News on your side.